Hello everybody, I'm Connie Stewart with SimplySimpleStamping.com. Welcome to a new simple stamping video. Guys, I have a really simple card to create today. And the idea of today's cards is the I don't want to color that card. <laughs> have you ever just seen one of those great big images but you go, I don't want to color that? Who has time for that? I've got a simple technique how we're going to color in a hurry. And guys, as always with our simple stamping, I will have a stepped up version of the card to share with you as well. So be sure to stay tuned to the end so you can see that one. Are you ready to stamp? Let's get started. All right, my friends, let's talk about the cardstock you need for today's card. My card base is going to be in the brand new Pretty Peacock. I have that cut eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter inch. We are going to layer another color on top of that, and that is the Seaside Spray. And I have that cut four inches by five and a quarter. And lastly, I need two pieces of Whisper White. Uh, my first piece, this is for the front of the card, three and three quarters by five inch. This is for the inside of the card, four inches by five and a quarter. We'll be using two ink pads today. Again, brand new in colors, Pretty Peacock and Seaside Spray. The star of the show is the brand new Good Morning Magnolia stamp set. Guys, look at that ginormous image. I love creating cards with one big image. Boom, I'm done. But if you struggle that you go, I just don't want to color all that, we're going to bring in the Artisan Texture stamp set to do our coloring for us. And we'll be using these two images here. Now I wanna make it clear, this is a stamp set you're going to be able to use a lot. These little backgrounds can be used so many times to color when you don't wanna color. Remember we have the two pieces of Whisper White. We wanna use the smaller of the two. With my Seaside Spray ink pad, I'm going to ink up that wonderful great big image. You notice I have some grid paper underneath me because I'm actually going off of the cardstock. Let's give that a really nice press. Remember, this is a big stamp, so we wanna make sure we've given even pressure all the way around. Now with my pretty peacock ink pad, we're gonna make this a thank you card. I'm going to ink up my word thanks and stamp here in the corner. And I want you to see, I could stop right there and have a very pretty card, but let me show you my little quick tip how we're going to color that magnolia. I'm going to use that great big stamp from the Artisan Textures. I'll ink that up on Seaside Spray, but I've got to get some of this ink off. So I'm going to stamp off once. Now I can come inside my flower and look at that. Now I have a nice little burst of color. It's very, very pretty. For the inside of my card, I'm going to come back in with Pretty Peacock. We have a great little border. I'm gonna add this here on the left side of my card. I'll then come in with my sentiment up here at the top and now back in with Seaside Spray. We're gonna use the smaller magnolia this time. Let's stamp that down here in the corner. And that same technique you saw me use, we're going to stamp off with this kind of speckly image so that we get that nice soft look there. We'll add that to the inside of the card and then we have a really nice clean and simple card. Now, if you're a stamper who likes to step things up a notch, let me share with you a couple fun tricks. Before you adhere down your stamped image, I'm going to do a quick stamp. I'm gonna take my word thanks and let's just stamp that right here at the bottom. Pick a punch, any punch. Guys, Stampin' Up! has five different label punches that any of them are gonna work great with this project, but I'm gonna use the brand new Timeless Label. We will punch that out. I'm going to add a couple Stampin' Dimensionals to that, and then I can add that to the front of my card. Now, I did add a couple other little embellishments. I used some of our Silver Metallic Edge Ribbon. Guys, this one is my favorite. I absolutely love it. It goes with everything. You see, I just simply tied it in a little knot. Um, these mail very well, so I really like to use little knots. And then I added just a few of our adhesive back rhinestones. So that allowed me to step up the card just a little bit. So if you're a simple stamper and you're looking for a quick and simple card, I think this one fits the bill absolutely beautifully. But if you like to step it up, maybe you have a punch or you have some rhinestones and some ribbon. What a great way to really make a very elegant card. But either way, you can't go wrong. And guess what else? Either way, the recipient is going to have a smile on their face when they receive your card. Hey guys, before I close, I just wanted to share with you uh, real quick a little bit about the Good Morning Magnolia 
Aria stamp set. You notice it's a two box set. It's a biggie because we have that great big flower in there. We had some other sentiments as well. It's a 10 piece stamp set, but did you notice that it's also available as a bundle? So we have some great dies that go along with this set. We have a wonderful little um, kind of flourish little image to go on the side. Another thing I love about Stampin' Up! is we get two leaves, um, two leaves. It allows us to uh, cut more at a time. And I think these just add a wonderful touch. But I did want you to see that if you're a uh, die cutting person, that we do have matching dies. There you go. I hope you enjoyed those cards. Guys, that Artisan Texture stamp set is amazing. And here's what's been interesting. I just keep creating with it. Um, it's been a very busy week at my stamp studio because I have been creating a lot with that Artisan Textures uh, stamp set. I highly recommend that one if you haven't added that one to your collection. Now, if you'd like to order that one or maybe any of the other supplies I used on my card today, here's what you can do. Head over to simplysimplestamping.com and just look for the June 8th, 2019 blog post. I'll have all the details about the cards right there for you. I'll have the measurements as well, so if you need to grab any of those. And like I said, if you'd like to order any of the supplies, perhaps you're ready to add that Good Morning Magnolia stamp set to your collection, just click a pick. It's going to take you right to my online store. You can order what you need right there. All right, my friends, that's it for me for another Simple Stamping. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hey, if you did, do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up on YouTube. I always appreciate that. And if you haven't already subscribed, take a minute and hit that great big red subscribe button and get notifications whenever I'm back with a new video. Guys, that's it for me today. Have a fantastic day and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.